this video is going to conclude our short series um, which is going to utilize this key and this door and the idea is that uh, you collect the key and then you can uh, go out the door uh, so a couple of things we need to do um, <coughs> first and foremost there needs to be some kind of trigger to collect the key the key disappears when we've uh, when we've collected it and also then once we've got the key and we walk towards the door the door opens to let us through and closes uh, behind us as well we'll do that so first and foremost what we need to do is I need to actually add a trigger onto uh, this this object so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select this object and uh, we'll just scale it up a little bit let's uh, change the scale of it all to three uh, so we've got this larger key <coughs> and the next thing I need to do is I need to right click anywhere in front of there and add actor add a trigger and I'll just move this away a little bit there uh, so the idea is that this trigger uh, when I walk up to it it will think I'm there trying to collect the key so uh, I'll just move that a little bit away so that I can get into this object there so I've got a I've got a trigger and I've got the object that I want to uh, disappear so <coughs> the next thing I need to do is actually get this um, static mesh and I need to convert it into a different type of uh, mesh so I'm going to convert convert static mesh actor to mover what that does is it allows me to be able to change something about this uh, this mesh it goes back to when we first said um, whether something was decorative whether it was just going to stay there and not move or actually uh, be something that can be collected something that spins um, okay so we've now said that uh, this is something that can actually move the uh, triggers in front of it and what we're going to do is go into the Kismet programming window and here it is you got the code uh, ones and zeros down the side uh, so what I want to do is select my trigger and then just right click anywhere on there new event using trigger one which is the one that's selected and we're going to say when it's touched uh, so that'll be just walking up to it uh, we could use used and that would actually um, ask us to actually press a key to collect that object but we'll just use touched for now and what it's done is it's created this uh, block uh, on, the, on the code to say trigger one touch uh, this is what happens when it's touched <coughs> we put some more code on uh, not touched or empty so what we're going to do is actually the next thing is we need to um, have it that when it's touched that this object disappears so I'm going to right click on here and it's going to be a, a new we say new event using that but it's not actually in there uh, so a new action toggle toggle hidden so the action is going to be to toggle to hidden so we're not actually going to make it disappear we're just going to hide it so we've got this so we say that when it's touched we're going to hide uh, and the target there now we've got this selected so the target we can actually right click and say new uh, object variable using interpret to one so that's plugged that in so it's basically saying that when we touch the trigger it's going to toggle the visibility of actor one to hide 
So let's just try playing that from here. You can see there we've got the key, we'll walk up to it, it disappears. So that's stage one. The next stage is that uh, now we've got the key, we need to be able to walk to the door and as you can see there, nothing's happening. So in the next section, what we're going to do is to say if we've got the key, then the door will open. So on to this next stage. Uh, at the moment we've got a uh, situation when we touch the trigger it hides the, the key. We also want to set a variable which actually says I've got the key and then utilize that variable to uh, be able to open the door. So just to the side here uh, as you would normally initialize a variable in programming and declare it and initialize it we say a new variable and it can be boolean because it's either going to be true or false. Now at the moment this just says false, uh, it doesn't say any names or anything like that. In the uh, properties down here you can see their variable name and we'll call this got key. So just pull it underneath got key, at the moment it's false which is fine. What we want it to do is that when we touch the trigger it toggles the visibility of the key and then sets this variable. So set a variable, uh, we need to right click and it's new action, set a variable bool. So we're going to set a boolean variable. So uh, once we've finished hiding the key we're then going to, we're going to set the got key variable to true. So um, Right click and say new variable, new named variable, and this is a boolean variable, and its name is got key. Now I've pressed enter, and we've got a green tick in there, so it says I know what you, uh, I know what you mean, uh, and that's going to be the the target. And the value we want to set is uh, to true, so I'm going to right click there and say create a new bool variable move this to the side a little bit and you see there the B value under its sequential um, variable bool it sets a zero now we know about uh, true and false being zero or one at the moment it's false it's zero we set it to one and you can see there it's gone to true so what happens is that when we touch the key it uh, disappears and then uh, the output from that goes into setting this variable got key to the value of true. Okay, so the next uh, next thing is that we want another trigger um, down by the door and we want to use this uh, got key variable to, to change it. So just moving down to an area we can see the, uh, the door, I'm just going to, there, I'm going to add Add an actor, which is a trigger. So this trigger, we need to new event using trigger three, um, and again it's just going to be a, a used. So what we need to do <coughs> is to make it so that when we touch this trigger, um, it compares with this boolean variable there so if touched is true and got key so we need to add a new um, condition comparison of bool so this would compare this which I'm going to copy and paste just drag that into there so copy uh, compare got key with the input touched so if those are both true then it will do whatever's next now whatever is next is the um, the door opening and that's actually called in UDK that's called a matinee um, word for film so a new matinee you can see that we've got a play uh, a reverse on there so we want it to 
when it's true we want it to play play what well we need to double click on the matinee and obviously you can see here we've got keyframes um, timeline uh, now this first red marker is the start of the matinee uh, the second red marker is the end now we don't want it to last five seconds it's far too long so I'm going to drag that one in first and foremost need to select the uh, the object that we're going to move we need to right click and add a new empty group and we'll call this uh, open door now that we've got a group in here we can right click anywhere on this green bar and add a new movement track you can see there's lots of different things we can do on here we can add a new movement track and so keyframe at number one we'll press enter and see key movement move to the end press enter and what we're going to do is change the rotation and open that door notice that I've got the correct pivot point and so that's that's that so what we're going to do is when it's all true we're going to play now what we want to do is when we step back or when we've walked through we need it to close again so we say once it's been untouched we can now reverse the only other thing is that we've just got to check that the trigger can trigger as many times as possible which uh, is zero in there and let's give that a go so first and foremost walk to the door the door doesn't open let's go and get the key keys disappeared and now I walk to the door and it opens closes again behind you can see there very nice I walk through the door shut behind me okay so uh, we've got a level uh, some kind of game you pick a key up once you've got the key you can open the door and that's kismet